Welcome back to TC Finds. Today we are working on a very special project. The Plymouth Trail Duster, I mean Dodge Ram Charger. My night this is my 1993 Dodge Ram Charger. <clears throat> it's two-wheel drive. So we need to do something with it. We need either we need to either level it and make it off-roady, or we need to lower it. And I know what you say, he can't leave nothing alone, and I know that. So Zane's on his way. We're gonna lower the rear of it today. I bought a, the cheapest leveling kit I could find online. And we're gonna see if it's worth a flip or a flop or something. So let's dig into it and get started. Grade eight bolts, even better. So that's like 30 and what, 3 eighths? Uh, I'm gonna call it 30 and an eight. 30 and an eight, really? Yeah. Oh, I guess it was the angle. Probably so. This side's about 29 and 7 eighths. So still lower, maybe because the spare tire. Yeah, but old. Old, yeah. <laughs> But knowing you, that tire's probably got 12 PSI, and this one has 8. I haven't touched them. <laughs> I haven't touched them. <laughs> They're brand new-ish. Well, now we get to ruin it. We'll call it 30 inches for the median. Okay. What's the flip say? 28 and 3 quarters. 28 and 3 quarter. <laughs> 29 and 3 eighths. Whoo! <laughs> wow. So, driver's side explained here. Mm. Shouldn't be too bad to oh, cut a coil or seven. Or oh, seven? No, we God, could. only got four. Yeah. We'll <laughs> ride on the bump stops. Oh, really? No, well, we only have about an inch. The, but, so the bumps aren't start touching? They aren't touching now. Okay. But the front is definitely lower. Then the rear. I don't know if I could capture it like filming this, but it, it is. Well, yeah, the measurements, yeah. the measurements tell. So we were 29 is a medium here. Sure. And 30 over there. Yeah, so now we're gonna be four inches or something lower back here. Yeah, it's gonna have to go down. You're losing three inches from lower shackle bolt to rivet hole. Yep. With this here bracket. Yep. Then you're also going another two inches because of the actual shackle. So that's so gonna be five total. Five, and we have how much between our bump stop? You, oh. you might have three and a half. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, we'll call it an even four. So I guess we're gonna stick with the shackle first. Yeah. And then, yeah, because if not, you're going to have to modify. C notch the frame. Yeah, we'll do that soon, but not not right now. <laughs> maybe maybe this afternoon or something. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, the bolts are coming from this side, not that side. So, well, we could pull the bottom. We, we do we have to remove the entire spring? You've been sipping and swerving? <laughs> oh, I, I, I did that when I was sick. Oh. <laughs> I said, I was just gonna have one. Yeah, we might have to pull both. Maybe I can find my fuel tank leak while we're up here. 
There's my tank leak. With it leaned up like this, it's gonna leak all over the floor. That'll be good. So first we can get this bolt out maybe, and then maybe do the second one. If not, we'll give up. Why? This this is why you just can't work on something. Right there. Yeah. 20, 20 minutes, sure, nope. You're gonna be working on this sucker all day. Uh-huh. And you're gonna hate every minute of it. Yep. If they, the hitch... They all do that, though. They put stuff in backwards, so you have to remove everything. Chevrolets do the same thing. So, really, the, the only way to get... Even removing the hitch, there still won't be enough room with the tank. It will barely... It'll probably barely be enough. Uh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it is touching. Uh-huh. How dumb. Well, looks like you're replacing the tank yourself. Nope. <laughs> we'll leave it alone about to have to be snipped off and i had the grinder and everything ready what's gonna be snipped off oh well the, the bolt i'm showing everyone how the dangers the danger of dripping fuel right there with sparks <sighs> ain't gonna do it well so we can just put it under there and pry it yeah. so we <laughs> cut the head back there we cut the head what are we doing oh yeah we cut the head there so now we can pull both these out and we'll we got new bolts to put in the right way or wrong way let me see those channel so in the perfect world, you have that. You have your old bolt. That fits in like so. But oh, we're gonna cut that because Dodge is dumb and we'll get a new one. Oh, that fits perfect. Okay, so our new kit. No dice. No dice. So instead of taking another 30 minutes to run to the store and swap these, I wonder if we could get that out and put that in there and swap them. But we still have to drill this out. Oh, no. Yep. What the heck? That's got the right bushing up there. So yeah, this needs to be drilled. If it was easy, it'd be hard. Mm -hmm. That's why I say. That's how you remove your old... Asbestos? Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Just heat it up, buttercup. These came out like a glove. Not stuck. It's wedged between the pin. Oh, that's face. good. There she goes. I you didn't know how to weld. I don't know how to weld. It's because you were here. Well, we could. Oh. Uh oh. We could get that out. <laughs> we win. Yep. That's the way you do it. Right there. That fast. <laughs> World's fastest to drill bits. 45 minutes later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, our next issue at hand is the nuts too thick to fit back in there. The bolt was a little too long. Cut that. Problem solved. But now this fat boy here is too fat. So we're gonna have to chop it about, tip my fingernail right there. Wonderful. <laughs> too far. Maybe. There we go. Ah. Moment of truth. Yep. Right here. Somehow it lifted four inches. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is what we're looking for. <laughs> right there. Yeah. Now it's pretty level. I think at the front we're a titch high, but haha, alas, we can measure fine new Yeah. He knows how to measure. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. So we were at what before? I don't even remember. 31 and an eighth or something? 30 and an eighth? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> we'll look back on the footage and you'll be able to compare. 
right under 29 and a half. 29 and a half. I'm pretty sure that's what the front was. What say you? The front is 29 and a half. Really? So the other side's probably 30. So 29 and a half, 29 and a half. And that's 30. Well, this is 29. Even though this could be 30 because it's been in a wreck. And stuff well, is not really right. Need to drive it and let everything set mm -hmm. in place. But I mean, for setting it down, it's pretty close. Oh, yeah. And that looks way more level. Mind the the scooter. But yeah, that's its proper Charlie. So to add to the look, it's there's a lot going on here. We got lights, we got bump stops, you got bump stops on the bumper. It's hiding that beautiful grill that Dodge created. From certain disaster when I hit a deer tonight. <laughs> so we're gonna remove this just to give it something more better. This is a damage multiplier. It is a damage multiplier. <laughs> then it cracks the grill to a million and one pieces. That's actually very light. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Much better. Come on now. Oh. Yes. Less busy. Much better. That really changes the look. Oh, you're missing the D. Yeah. I might have one. You gotta do that. Yeah. Right now. Right now? Right now. Let's plop this one out. <laughs> How do I even pull them out? I don't know. <laughs> Just color it in with the Sharpie. At least right. it's, it, right. it won't have the depth, but it'll have the same color. Mm. Okay. Scratch the plastic sticker. Well, that came out. <laughs> Let me go see if I could get one off the parts truck. Huh? Huh? I was saying two choices, they ain't said two chances. They're glued, but we'll with the grinder and uh, then just super glue it. Okay. Now, here's a little sentiment that I've had laying around from my old first turret. 36 years ago, you had it when you were one year old. <laughs> what do y'all think? I haven't even looked back yet. Does it deserve to be on there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Next day, not really, a few days later. See how tucked the wheel is? Spacers came in. So we're gonna install those and see how that looks untucked. But it should give me the look where we're going for here. It's my hope anyway. Uh, What's in there? It's a box again. Another box? <laughs> Jeez. A yeah. box within a box? Well, luckily we have the old book. Ah! <laughs> the old buck knife. Don't worry. Use it around my children. It literally won't cut me. Uh oh. Oh yeah, get all that paper out. All right, now let's see what's in here. Hi huh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on, Puka? <laughs> oh no! Huh. This is something I'm actually supposed to return. All right, now let's open this box and see if this has what we need in it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I like to pop them. Just what we ordered. Uh, we need another box. All right. Let's slap these on, see how they look. We got the spacer bolted on nicely. We found out real quick that one of those studs is bad. That's why there wasn't a lug nut on it. We'll ignore that for now and figure it out later. I'll bring our capper, Cabri, Cooper Kai, ah, G.I. Joe, uh, over here. I think we'll be in good shape. Tech tip, 
use the feet and sit on the ground with your butt, it'll make tire installation way easier. There we go. Yeah. Can you get me some of those lug nuts down there? Is it here? Yep, those. Mind you, this has been wrecked. But look at the reveal here. Okay, see that? See it? See the reveal? Now let's go over here. Way less of a reveal. And note, we had rubbish going on in there. Now on this side, Zero rubbage. Are the spacers different that I just put on? Or something else afoot? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. We drove it up the road. Let's see how it looks. It looks aggressive, but look how far that guy back there is sticking out. From this view, there's a major difference. It almost looks like it's tweaked back too. Time to do a little investigative measuring. We are three quarters of an inch bigger on this side than that side. And here, all right, y'all look here. Look at the tread and see we're like at 11 and 12. 7 eighths, I'd say. 7 eighths? Or 15 sixteenths. Nearly a foot. Over here, it is not the same. It's like 11 and a quarter just about. Quarter is about. Not good. I don't know if it's body alignment or How what. Is this stick? That stick? 10 inches. So the question is is the body misaligned or is the rear end? I looked underneath there, it looks pretty good. So I'm honestly going to guess the body scooched over. That's, that's the only answer to that. Because we got. It sticky outage and then we got no sticky outage and that's really what I, I was going for as far as the look about that right there so yeah all good things we'll uh we'll tackle it or something next step is to heat some springage up and get that front end a little lower here we go on the fun part mm -mm 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 -mm. Just gonna heat her a little and hope for the best. <laughs> so I might have gone a little far. Those are touching. And those obviously are not touching. Well, now we gotta even it up, of course. Huh. Maybe that lowering in the rear just, you know, did nothing. And now she is lowered. I think I accomplished the goal, except lowering the front too much, but, but we'll ignore that for now. Overall, we have the rear end to deal with, but we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.